Hello there, it's been a while since I've actually talked to you guys in a video. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another art one. So we're kicking off with an Instagram post that I'm editing here, which was a pencil drawing. It was a very faint pencil drawing because I needed to raise it and paint it later. And I was asking my followers what they felt about it and they gave me some really useful feedback. And then I moved on to tracing this picture of Fire Girl. And then I went straight on and got on with this, which is a trace for the Fire Girl that I am working on. And I'm just testing out all my colors here in the color family I wanted to use, which was sort of warm colors, reds, yellows, and then obviously skin tones. I found that the Derwent pencils that I was using actually blended out really, really nicely, which was made this a lot of fun to do. It was really, really useful. <laughs> And it also meant I got to move around any features that I needed to move, any like bits of the sketch I wasn't happy with. I think I changed her mouth in the final version of the sketch because I wasn't happy with that in this particular draft, which is why doing drafts is so valuable. And also because when I paint this piece, I don't want the colors to be off. So this gives me a clear guide of that. And here is Sleepy Boy, all edited. I'm so much happy with his nose. <laughs> And then we move straight on to, I used Pinterest to find both of the inspos for the Ice and Fire's hair. And then I traced ice and did a second color map for him. I went with a very, very cool tone and obviously for ice palette with my tea. And I decided to do a sort of grey and blue hair, which I've been wanting to do for absolutely ages. I have been working with pro markers, but I just couldn't get those two colours to work together. So I'm hoping I'm going to be able to do that with paint. I really enjoyed doing that in the pencil and it looked really good when I was done. So I'm super happy with how that turned out. Please forgive this shot. I didn't realise my pencils were in front of the camera until it was finished and I was on the phone to my mum. <laughs> And again, testing out colours is so important so you know what you're looking at. And also test out how things blend. The more you test, the less likely you are to have mistakes. And here he is. And I went on to lining Sleepy Boy. Now lining is one of those things that always makes me nervous because if you make a mistake then it is so there for the rest of your picture. You can't edit it the way you can with a lot of other things. Which again is where making sure that you're happy with the piece comes in and making sure that you do any drafts you need to do. I was pretty happy with how the lining went though. I decided not to line the nose and the like just because they're not quite such prominent features. So I left them out and then I went in with a watercolour pencil and these are just lines where I wanted to maybe have a highlight or use a darker colour paint but I didn't want them as a penned line. So I put them in in watercolour pencils so that they would disappear when I used gouache or watercolour on his hair later on and then we taped them down onto my dining room table, which functions also as my studio or study right now. And we are ready to go. Mixing up paint. This color turns out way more orange than I was intending it to be. In hindsight, it looks very, very orange and I should have added a little bit more pink in there, but at the time I Thought it looked fine and I do go back a little bit later which you will see and here I make some edits just with a lighter colour so that it doesn't look quite so orange and I also between those two shots obviously did his hair the hair I'm really really happy with how it turns out I don't know if I'd done it at this point but I added some lines of lighter and darker shades of the paint that I used for his hair in order to give it a bit more dimension and there you can see. And then we went on to lining. And then I went on to pen, ice and fire here. As you can see, the hair was a real pain to do for ice because <laughs> it was so complicated and I'd put way too many lines in there and I realized that the two styles didn't jam so I did remove quite a few of those. Fire's hair was way easier to do. They don't actually have names, they have names yet, these characters, so that's why I am calling them Ice and Fire. If I choose to kind of develop them further, then they might get names. Then here is me doing the paint for 
Sleepy Boy shirt. I used that beautiful purple colour, that water looked so cool, and I did a wet on wet sort of lilac look. So this was really easy to blend because I did wet on wet, and it also allows for a lot more dimension and gives you a bit more time to move the paint where you want it, which is nice. And then I went in with the darker shade of that later as well and added in shading where I needed it. And then here is me having a bit of a boogie. You gotta kind of let your last two brain cells do what they feel. Me finding gauche on the table. And then I got straight back on with this and this is me using my Faber-Castell pens just to add a little bit of backgrounding. I asked my followers what they thought of it and they said to leave it plain. I was thinking about painting the background but I in hindsight think it looks nicer with just a little bit of monochrome backgrounding so it looks like he is lying on something and has a bit of a shadow. Then that was that and I'm really happy with how this piece turned out to be honest. It's really really pretty and I think shows how far I've come with my art journey so far and yeah, so thank you so much for watching guys and I appreciate it a lot. Please come back and watch another one of my art videos sometime. Bye!